Hi, I'm Daniela, and this is Jocelyn. Thanks for coming to our channel. Today, we're going to be talking about our conception plan. <music> to recap on our story, we wanted to get pregnant right after getting married, but because of the pandemic and things being so uncertain, we decided to hold off a little bit. Now, being a Full year later we're definitely ready to give it a try again so the first thing we did was get prepared we went to a specialist a fertility specialist to get Daniela checked out to make sure that she was in shape to actually have a baby so that started with some exams blood work and an ultrasound yeah I even had to do this genetic testing where I like spit in a cup and sent it in the mail it was crazy and weird but cool <laughs> The doctor gave us a whole checklist of items that needed to be completed before we could start the process of artificial insemination, which is cool, helped us get prepared and kind of line things up. Something I should mention is that I do have a thyroid condition that could sometimes make it difficult for you to get pregnant or fertility issues. So we're just taking as many precautionary measures as possible. We both decided early on that I was going to be the one to carry our second child. For those of you who don't know, Isabella, our first daughter, I conceived from a previous relationship before Daniela and I met. So Daniela took an active role in Isabella's life when she was around four, and which was great, but I think it's time for Daniela to experience all that motherhood has to offer, starting with... Morning sickness. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Starting with pregnancy. Yeah. As a same-sex couple, we're looking to do artificial insemination. Artificial insemination most times is done through IUI or intrauterine insemination, which basically is a doctor collecting a washed sample of sperm and injecting it into the woman's uterus. Being that the sample is going directly into the uterus, there's a pretty good chance of input implantation <laughs> based on the information we received from our doctor it's usually 20 percent chance of success on the first try but the more you try it the higher the percentage goes and that's why our doctor highly suggested we go this route of iui but at this time like thinking about iui there's no way that jocelyn would be able to come with me for the procedure so basically i would go in by myself get artificially inseminated by a doctor come home like hey honey i'm knocked up and you were there it's basically like i don't know to me it felt like really impersonal and distant and not the way that i want us to create our first child it did feel kind of like i want to be in this baby's life as much as possible and here we are the first step the first moment of you know feeling connected and i'm already disconnected i'm already waiting outside the room and not even kinda, in the room yeah because exactly you can't come to the appointment but so it just feels like there has to be another way so naturally like anyone in today's age i took to the internet and searched for alternatives and that's when i found ici or intracervical insemination which was a process that we could do at home yeah with ici we have the ability to be able to find sperm on our own and conceive at home together in a more intimate atmosphere between the two of us, which I kind of liked. Of course, there are many things to consider when you're thinking about ICI. You know, how do I get sperm? How to handle the sample? Timing. When do I use the sample? How long how? is it good for? Oh yeah, how do you put it in? You know, there's a lot to think about, but fortunately I have Jocelyn, who's the researcher of our relationship. Um, so she got to work and did a lot of research. So after talking about all the factors of ICI, we decided that maybe it was a good idea to give it a try. And you know, the worst case scenario, if it didn't work after a couple tries, we could always go to the doctor for IUI. But this way, at least we tried to do it in a way that felt the most natural for oh, us. Yeah. Now that we have chosen our method of insemination, the last item on our checklist was to find a sperm donor, which is 
a process that I'd say we're both pretty nervous about. You know, how do you choose the person who's gonna help you create your baby? The most hopeful thing that I think I found during all the research I did was that there were a lot of different ICI methods that we could actually do at home. And we're pretty excited to share with you guys some of the things that we tried. In our upcoming videos, we're gonna share with you the methods that we found out, um, how to find a sperm donor, how to track your ovulation. It's gonna be really exciting. Obviously this goes without saying, but we're not by any means giving anyone medical advice. We're just gonna talk to you about the information that we found, what we tried, what worked for us, and what didn't work for us. The let's be honest truth. <laughs> so be sure to like and subscribe, and definitely let us know in your comments your plans to conceive. See you soon.